What's up everyone, Trickster here, and today on this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips on how to start FIFA 22 Pro Clubs the right way. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because we have a lot of Pro Clubs content coming to the channel. And of course, also, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for the love and the support. If you follow me on social media, you know that I'm doing a FIFA 22 Ultimate Edition giveaway. The winner will be picked on the 22nd and it will be live on the live stream on Twitch. And then we will be playing some of the early access of FIFA 22 on the live stream. Well, if you've been living on the rock and you don't know how to get EA Access, let me tell you. So, what is EA Access? EA Access is pretty much a membership fee you pay to EA, and they give you access to a bunch of their games, and you get 10 hours of FIFA 22 on the 22nd of September. So, hey, why not jump in, get some gameplay, but also on Twitter, I put the do's and don'ts on what you should be doing with your 10 hours that you get, because it goes very, very fast. So, nonetheless, let's stop talking. Let's jump right into these tips for you guys on how to start pro clubs the right way on FIFA 22. The first tip is to make sure you get your settings on FIFA 22 the right way before you even jump into pro clubs or even any mode in general. Here I am on FIFA 21, obviously I don't have FIFA 22 yet and I'm not a EA game changer so I don't have access to show you guys the settings but most of the times every year the settings are pretty much the same so I'm going to show it to you guys on FIFA 21. Pretty much the first thing you want to do when you get to FIFA 22, go ahead and go to your settings and then you're going to go ahead and focus on three things on these settings. The number one thing you're going to focus on is your camera. Now I made a video on FIFA 19, yes. I know it's been a while, but the camera settings are pretty much the same almost every year. They might bring one or two different camera settings here and there, but most of the time it's pretty much the same. So for me, I set up my uh, outfield cameras as tele and then my custom, my camera height, I put the custom 20 height and zero zoom. This gives me a perfect perspective. This is pretty much what the camera looks like. Give me a perspective, a, different, a perfect perspective as a striker okay. to not be too far away, but also not to be too close that I'm okay. missing some passes. Okay. This is the perfect, uh, okay. this is the camera I've been using okay. for competitive okay. for years. This is for the cameras I've been using for pretty much every position I play. And again, if you do want to go ahead and watch that FIFA 19 video of different cameras, they're pretty much the same. They would be the same for camera on 22 maybe there's one or two camera difference but I'll promise that most of the cameras that I put on there are pretty much the same now and if you do want to check that out I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check out but this is what my camera I use tele 20 height and zero zoom again easy simple you want to get this right the right way if you are a goalkeeper obviously I usually play pro if I'm playing goalkeeper but I know some goalkeepers but tele some goalkeepers even play co-op and those sometimes are the best goalkeepers in the world put the right settings and then go ahead and go to visual this is the next setting we're going to be talking about still tip number one we're going to go ahead and go to where it says connection monitoring and make sure this is in ping only now you can put connection indicators only or you can put both but honestly the connection indicator is just annoying it's just to be honest, it, it, it gets very annoying at times. If you put ping, ping is what is important. Ping is what you want to know. Now, you guys are probably asking what ping is if you haven't had this on before. This is how you turn it on. Ping pretty much shows you your connection to the server. So if you're playing, uh, for example, I am from US, and a lot of times when I'm playing with viewers on Twitch, uh, I end up playing on UK server. Ping is a result of the person that is searching in your pro clubs this is their this is their server you're gonna use. So if you're from the US and you're playing with someone from UK or from a different part of the world and they are searching, you're gonna get their server no matter what the club server is. Again, doesn't matter what the curb club service is. You can put in North America and someone from UK search, you're gonna get a UK based server. That is the important part of this. And this is why you wanna put this on because you wanna know what your ping is and how your connection to the server is. So uh, what is a good ping? A good ping is anything from 0 to 50. I sometimes on stream when I'm playing with viewers, I play with a pretty high ping. I play with a ping of 130 sometimes. I do have a 1,000 upload and a 1,000 download. So again, this just is all up to what connection you have and also who is the host for the pro clubs and their connection to the server. And there's a, mu a bunch of different variables and things that we most likely will talk about on stream. But on this video, I'm just letting you guys know, put the ping on. The next thing is going to custom controls and make sure you have have this however you want. Again, don't use time finishing. This is on FIFA 21. Most likely they're not going to be using it on FIFA 22. Turn it off if you're not going to use it because this is pretty much every time you press circle, if you're a striker, or whatever position you play, press circle twice, it's going to be affected. If you turn this off, then it, there is no impact when you double tap circle, when you shoot or whatever you shoot button is. 
And auto switching, you don't really use that in pro clubs unless you are on any. Again, that to put that to whatever you want. Get these settings correctly because these settings will be very important. A lot of times for me, I play on assisted or semi-assisted. A lot of people sometimes also play on manual. If you're not comfortable playing with that set, certain settings, don't play it. But I highly suggest you play with assisted or semi to start with. The second tip I'm going to give you guys is to get the best build possible. So after you do all your settings, go ahead and go and jump into pro clubs. I'm gonna tell you straight up right now. Listen, I'm telling you, female players is gonna be the meta. Every year when FIFA implements something new, that usually is the meta. So female players is the way to go. I'm telling you right now, go ahead and create your player and get the best build that's gonna be useful for you. Now, this doesn't mean it's gonna be the best build on FIFA 22, but I can tell you that I'm gonna go right off the bat, I'm gonna play with a 5399 or a 5499 to 119 to start. Okay, play what tour you used to on FIFA 21 and then as you are playing, adjust your build as you are going on to see what the meta is. You want to use the meta to your advantage. I will be doing best builds for every single position. Don't worry, goalkeepers, I will not forget you guys. I will be doing the best build, tips, tricks, the traits to use, all that good stuff to the channel. So, of course, you want to stay tuned for that stuff. The first video will be actually coming out on Wednesday for the striker, but get the best build possible for you. Whatever you play on 21, play with it on 22 to start and then adjust as you go. So I'm gonna stick to my 5499 to start and then we'll adjust as we go. Now everything else, if you are on the EA Access version of the game, you only get 10 hours, so don't waste your time in customizing your player. Try to get it right into gameplay. But if you are getting the game on the 27, you get the Ultimate Edition or you get the game on October 1st, go ahead and do everything, whatever it is, that is fine. And boom, right there, you already have your pro, you have your settings correctly. And now the number three tip for you guys guys is the skill points and perks right off the bat. New in FIFA 22, we do have perks. You get one slot to start, and every time you level up to a different, to a higher level, so you start on level one, as you level up, you get a new perk. So, number one thing you're going to be doing right off of this, tip number three, is to make sure you use your skill points the right way. So go ahead and use your skill points on what you are think is gonna be best. Again, for me, I'm gonna suggest this to everybody. No matter what position you play other than goalkeeper, Use your skill points that you have on pace. Why I say this is because pace is very, very important. FIFA 22 gameplay is a lot slower. Doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It could be actually be a very good thing. So use it on pace to start. If you're a goalkeeper, go ahead and use it on your goalkeeper. You should be focusing on your goalkeeper first anyways. I hope no goalkeepers are putting their pace on first. A pace first and then go ahead and use whatever you have. If you're a striker, use on a short passing or finishing or so on. There's not really much you can do on 22. Again, these skill trees are very different than what I'm talking about. This is FIFA 21. FIFA 22, actually, I'm pretty sure if you guys seen gameplay on early access of EA Game Changers playing FIFA 22 Pro Clubs, you notice that there's no negative. There is no negative such as this right here. No such thing as this on 22, unless on the full version they do that. On the beta it wasn't, I also seen early access of the game and there's no negative at all. So that's a huge part of it. There's conversation going that there might be only 65 skill points. Not confirmed, I will confirm this on stream. Now, in terms of perks, you only have three that you start off. But other than that, you level up right away, you have that first game, you're, you're gonna get enough experience by playing well in game that you're gonna level up to level two and you'll have more options. So, perks work every time you level up, you go ahead and get a new perk. So, keep that in mind when you are playing. Tip number four is a little bit more tricky, but I'll show you guys on the screen what I mean by this. Tip number four is focus on player growth. Again, you start off on level one and the max level is 25. Best thing to do right off the bat, get the mat, highest match rating as possible and do as many action in game as possible for your position. So if you're a striker, score, assist, pass the ball correctly, keep passes, all that. If you're a cam, keep passes, assist, goals. If you're a midfielder, again, tackles, being in your position, all that good stuff and if you're a defender you're getting tackles slide tackles standing tackles all that good stuff goalkeeper you're getting saves you want to do these actions in game to be able to get xp and then you also you want to get a good match rating because that is going to be a combination of how you get the highest possible amount of, of xp to be able to level up to level two level three level four and so on and so forth so that is my tip number four is focus on the different actions you can do in game for your position to be able
able to level up more and more and get as much XP as possible. Last but not least is tip number five. This is a pretty base, straightforward one, is use your skill points the second you get them. So if you play a game and you get skill points, go ahead and use them as soon as possible. Now, back in FIFA 19 and 18, there used to be a skill point tree that they gave, that EA gave us. Now, I'm not sure if that's gonna be a thing on 22. I will be making how to get maxed overall. I'll actually be doing a series on it, so stay tuned for that. If there is one, I'll also try to share with you guys, but try to play as many games as possible, and the second you unlock skill points, make sure you're using it in this order. The first thing I can suggest you guys, if you are an outfield player, focus on your uh, pace first, and then go ahead and focus on the positioning. Uh, your, use your skill points and the positioning for yourself. So if you're a defender, focus on pace, and then go ahead and focus on defending. If you're a midfielder, focus on pace, and go ahead and focus on passing. If you're a striker, focus on pace, and then go ahead and focus on your finishing. Why I say finishing instead of heading and all that stuff is because finishing is in the box, and finishing on 22 is not as easy as it is now because the CPU goalkeepers are very very overpowered and uh, I will be making plenty of videos on builds, finishing tips, all that good stuff to the channel. But that is it guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. I really, really appreciate the love and support. If you're new, make sure you guys subscribe because we have a lot of Pro Clubs content and videos coming to the channel. Don't forget guys, the FIFA 22 Ultimate Edition giveaway is live right now and you still can enter till uh, the winner is announced on the 22nd live on Twitch. Link for my Twitch channel is in there. And also if you guys want to join the Discord, we do have one for you guys. You guys can get in contact with me and the community you guys play some pro clubs all that good stuff but let me know comment section below what do you think what are some other tips you guys will be using so the community can use it as well but thank you guys for watching appreciate you i love you keep smiling stay positive and uh peace